How awesome is this place? How many of my Sydney people want to move up here? My wife just did a backflip. <laughs> it's beautiful here. Um, but you're here because uh, you guys are the, are the real deal. You're the true leaders. And uh, you are a seer. I am a seer. We are a seer. And uh, you're obviously here because you want to better people's lives and you want to be a force for good in the world. And we, we, we highly commend that. Thank you so much. But the most important thing for you to be taking away from this weekend is to be taking action after this weekend. Now, most of you, I'm sorry, no offense, most of you won't do that. But the few of you who do are going to go out there and better people's lives, change people's lives, and you're going to be a, a lifesaver, just like Sepp and Jessica Hock. So are you ready? Are you ready for the ASEA adventure? Are you ready for the Peak Performance Training? Are you ready to get everything you can extract from these illustrious, exceptionally experienced leaders? Are you ready to get out there and be a force for good in the world? I can't hear you! All right, calm down. <laughs> Let's do it. We're going to start this event right. We're going to kick it off big. Coming up to the stage is a man who has over 20 years successful experience in business and real estate. Uh, he is ambassador, triple diamond. He's the I Am ASEA Award winner 2017, the ASEA Business Builder of the Year 2017. He is the number three highest ranking ASEA associate in the world. He is my friend, he is my mate, he is my brother, he is my sponsor. I love him. Let's give a big ASEA warm, excited welcome to none other than Dan Doe! <laughs> Alrighty. Limited time, guys. You need all the knowledge. You need to take all these gold nuggets, put them in writing. Please take a lot of notes today. I'm considered as a bad cop. I've come from traditional business. I'm going to give it to you between the eyes. I'm going to tell you what it takes to build a business like this. I don't consider this a voluntary army. You're either going to do it or you don't. Fair enough? Okay, so I'm going to ask you some questions. Who's serious about building an ASEA business? Fair few of you. Fantastic. We're all in the right place. And um, I'm going to ask another question. And please don't take offence to anything I've got to say. I just said I'm just totally black and white and I'm letting you know what it takes to do what you have to do to be successful in this business. Whatever you do with that is totally up to you. You've got your upline, you've got your own way to build it, they have their own way to build it. I only expect my team to build it my way, team. Okay, so take plenty of notes, guys, and you know, it's gonna be, yesterday was sensational, but today's, you know, you're gonna hear from, from leaders and you're gonna hear about well, what it takes to build this business. So this is the day that, that really, is, is going to count. And I'm going to ask you another question. Who's going to the convention? Who's going to the international convention in Texas? There's a lot of hands up. For those who aren't going or can't go or may not be able to go, I recommend you, you try and get there and take as many people as possible. You thought yesterday was good? That's going to be 10 times better. So make that a point to put that in your diary and try and get there. Okay, so another question. Who wants to be a diamond? Okay, everybody. Well, act like one. You've got to act like one, okay? So in order to build this business, you need to become the leader that you want to attract. You need to set an example. If you run in this business, people are going to run with you. If you jog, people are going to jog, and if you walk, people will walk. If you stop, people will stop. You need to set the example. So there's only one thing that's going to stop you from doing that. What's that? Exactly. Okay. So who's in business, traditional business? There's a lot of people in traditional business. Now, when you go to your business, you need to perform, yeah? And if you don't perform, what's going to happen? Things are going to move. I built and sold 20 traditional businesses. I had to be there in order for them to be successful. The business, my management team needed me there in order for that business to go in the right direction. So what's the difference between what you're doing now and what we're doing here? 
No, absolutely nothing. The only difference is you pay $60 now to start this business. $60. So that's easy to walk away from, isn't it? So think of it this way. Think if you invested a million dollars into your SEER business, what would happen then? Would you want to return on the, that investment? Or treat it like a business? Because it will return more than you can ever imagine. Over 20 years of building businesses, everything that I had achieved in, in traditional business pales in comparison to what opportunity we have here today and what has been created, what can be created. So let's go back to anybody who's employed. Who's employed by somebody? Who's, who's got a job? Okay, great. So you go to work, you, time, you sign a timesheet, you clock on, you bundy on. What do you have to do then? You got to work. What happens if you don't work? You don't get paid. What happens if you don't get paid and you don't work? You're going to get the sack, aren't you? So another way to look at this is employ yourself and be the hardest boss you can be on yourself. Yeah? And if you don't perform, you're going to sack yourself and you don't want that. Okay, this is the way I look at it. So three years ago, I literally was struggling to put food on the table. I needed more product for my health. I was in survival mode. So back then I got up every single morning knowing that I had to perform to make sure I put food on the table, but not only that, to have enough product to help what I was going through. So I, when I started in the morning and I clocked on in the morning and I dropped off at night, every night. Now how do you think I build the business now? Exactly the same, why? Do you think I need more money? No. But if I get up in that mindset every single morning, I'm gonna have the most impact on people's lives than, than I can do in any other way, have any other mindset. I'm gonna get up like, I'm, like I've gotta put food on the table. I've gotta get up like I need product for my health. And if I get up in that frame of mind, I'm not gonna waste one second of the day doing what I have to do to get this to as many people as possible. Make sense? Okay, um, who's heard of KPIs? A few people. Do you know what they are? Key performance indicators. There's businesses, organisations and companies that put these in place to keep check on their performance, to measure their goals, targets and performance. These are also placed on individuals when they're employed. I used to place them on my management team and my security companies. They had to perform. They had to at least meet a measure or a minimum um, level of, of make sure they can do their job. And if they weren't performing, I used to retrain them and just make sure they've come up to the level to be able to do their job. And if they didn't do that over, over three, <laughs> three warnings, they didn't work for me anymore. I mean, in, in Australia, you know, I mean, end of the day, people need to perform, you're paying them, you're paying them for a job. So it was my job to make sure they were trained and these KPIs kept up. Now these KPIs I've got in my head for me, my performance, my targets, my goals. I make sure I perform from the time I get up to the time I go to bed. And if I'm not performing, same thing. I'm not going to give myself good marks. So I, I keep this in, in my mind for the way I build my own business. And I tell you now, I don't depend on anybody to build my business. I don't depend on Mal. I don't depend on Lorene. Um, I, I cannot depend on any of them. I need to drive it myself. It is a team effort once this gets moving, but the only person I can depend on is me to move forward. So, um, you're all here, you're all um, obviously learning a lot. This is great training, you're going to pick up some great knowledge, but knowledge is, as you know, knowledge is power, but it's only power if you apply it, if you do something with it. So, guys, I recommend, as I said, to plug into absolutely everything. These events, get your team to events around the world. I'm just, just going to talk about um, the plan and um, how I run my business, which is, if you don't have a plan, I mean, you're gonna, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna buy a traditional business, you're gonna spend a quarter of a million dollars, you're gonna have a plan to actually run that business. You're running it exactly the same, exactly the same as what we're doing here. There's no difference. So I have a daily plan, a weekly plan, a monthly plan, and a yearly plan, and I do that by having a physical diary. I recommend all my team carry a physical diary. I'm a paper man. Like Trish. Now, you're going to write in your diary what you have to do in life and what you want to do in life. You need to spend time with your family, going to church, um, obviously having an income, cash flow to build an ASEA business. Put all that in your diary for the year. But you're also going to write in there any of, the, any of the events around the world. You're going to put the events in, in America, the events here, the events in Europe. And you're also going to put in the webinars and calls. You're going to fill up your diary the whole year. 
And you're not just going to concentrate on the people you know to get them to those events or on those calls, but make sure you make, get your team to do the same and duplicate that with them. You're also going to put in there your goals and your targets. I knew when I was going to become a diamond, a double diamond, a triple diamond, an ambassador diamond, a double and a triple. They were all in my diary. If you don't have those targets, if you don't have those goals, you can't see where you're going. So a diary is very valuable to me. And then you can have a lot of white spots in that diary or calendar, whatever you call it in America, planner. And those white spots should be full of freeway calls, helping your team to build this business, digging underneath them to help anybody to depth. Don't just work with the people you bring on. Make sure you're creating it with the people you bring on. Make sure you're helping them to be successful, but also digging deep under them. Going well, 10 minutes, how good is this? Okay, so guys, this is the big thing. It's what you are doing when, uh, when no one else is looking that's gonna be the defining factor in your business. You're all here, you've all got your face on show. I commend you for being here and congratulations, but it's what you do when you go home. What you do when you wake up tomorrow morning? What are you gonna do between tomorrow morning at lunch? What are you gonna do on those white spaces that are empty in your, calendar, in, your, in your diary? That is what's gonna count. And I can tell you I do, I do a hell of a lot while you guys aren't watching. I don't stop. The first year I spent seven days a week building this business. Fortunately, I could do that. I was in a situation though where I came from nothing and I had to do it to survive. In the last two years I've been doing six days a week. I've taken off another four hours off on a Saturday now, which is nice. So every single second counts. So I can tell you now that if you spend every waking second of your day outside of your busy schedule building a SEA business, in 12 months' time you look back and you go, oh my God, look what I've created. If you build this like you're working for somebody, you're employed, and you put that time, that effort into building your business over the next 12 months, you're gonna have a substantial organization. If you treat it like a business, you're gonna be heading in the right direction. So, for, for things to change, guys, you have to change. For things to get better, you have to get better. Only you can change that. No one else is going to do it for you. So don't wait, don't hesitate, don't procrastinate. Um, how am I going? I'm pretty good. We'll, we'll go ahead of time. Guys, go and create it and have the best year that, you're, that you can have. What is going to stop you from reaching your potential in 2018? What's going to stop you from, from reaching your potential? It's only you. So don't depend on anybody else. Don't wait for anybody else. Go and create it. You have to be creating all the time. You, uh, you need to recognise the difference between being busy and being productive. I got a lot of people in my business that are busy, busy going nowhere, but not being productive. So look at it as income generating activity. And if you, you, you aren't doing anything at that moment of time that's income generating, guess what you're not doing? You're not helping people. And what are we here to do? Help people. Income generating activity is going to help people. So as soon as you recognize that you're doing something that isn't productive, that isn't income generating, Shift your focus immediately, yeah? And you won't be wasting your time. There's no time to waste. I mean, if you look at the, the big picture, I look at everything from a global point of view. You know, we're, um, we're expanding around the, the world at the moment. We've got a three to five year global expansion plan. So I look at it from, from up here. And when I'm looking down, I see all these markets. All these markets that someone's gonna take. So if you don't do it as fast as you can, somebody else is gonna do it. What's the worst thing that somebody can say to you when you tell them about this incredible breakthrough? That's it, we're already in. It's not no, somebody else signed me up last week. So you gotta do this with speed. You gotta create a culture of speed. You have gotta do this with all that massive action. There's no mucking around with this. This isn't a hobby. This isn't a play school or a playground. This is a serious business. And if you're serious about helping people, if you're serious about building a massive organization, you need to treat it seriously. It's as simple as that. So, you know what time you've got to do this? That you can allocate to it? And then you know what time that you need to spend with family, church, and everything else you have to do. Make it clear, when, when, you, when you're with family, 
you need to be 100% with family. We're at church. You need to be 100% at church. But when you're building a receiver business, you need to be 100% focused. Yeah? So I'm the bad cop, guys. I, so I, um, I literally run my business like I have, my 20 traditional businesses over 20 years. I was very, very successful, so I've just brought that into network marketing. And I think that's the reason why I've been, well, why our team has moved so quick. You know, where uh, we, we don't muck around with it and we recognize, you know, our red apples, green apples, and, and rotten apples pretty quick. Has everybody heard of red apples, green apples, rotten apples? No, just quickly? Yeah? It's coming up? Someone else is going through it. All right, that's okay. But you read the, basically what you need to do is recognize who's wasting your time and who's not wasting your time very, very quickly. You, you never try and convince anybody to come into a seer. It's not a convincing business. So you just need to make sure that we're just the messengers. If we pass on the information, whatever they want to do with it is totally up to them. We're not here to convince any, anybody or anything. And then it's just next and move on. But if somebody wants to run, you run with them. You hold their hand and you don't stop. Because as I said, we're, uh, I mean, we're, we've got incredible product and incredible technology and we're, um, we're in a better place than a lot of other people on the planet that don't know about this. But it's our job to get it to them. So our health's heading in the right direction with using these products. We're gonna be around for a lot longer, healthier by using this incredible breakthrough technology for us, but it's our job to get it out there as quickly as possible. I mean, I've got my why. Uh, one of the big reasons why I'm so passionate I get up in survival mode every morning is because I'm here because of the product. So I've got to run as fast as possible. If I don't talk to somebody that I bump into during the day, I feel guilty because there could be somebody in their life, their background, their mother, their father that has a serious health challenge. And if I don't mention it, I haven't done my job. So guys, uh, I said don't wait, don't hesitate, don't procrastinate, go and create and have the best year ever. Thank you. All right, how was that? He is a master. He is breaking records all over the world. How many people know Danny Doyle?